Nautilus. He will get it eventually, but the Satanic is a little bit more surprising. Oh, uh, Siamese Cat runs into Y. There's the arena, number one from XXS because he has the Refresher Orb. Is it going to delete Jin Q to start this fight? And they find the Snapfire as well, so two very important supports down for PSG LGD. Ame, he's waiting in the wings, but they see it thanks to the Sentry. There's the Refresher Orb. Has the arena, but doesn't want to use it because of the BKB. They're actually kiting him pretty well. Feels like a wasted BKB from Ame in the end. But there's the oh. arena, not quite in range, but nothing to say. Forced to pop his BKB. Look out for the black hole here. Much, but there's the tidal wave. Bring him Monet into the black hole. Are you serious? What a combo. And Monet trying to right click a bit, but his right click from Ame are too much. Double kill for Ame, but Ori going to town on Faith Beyond. Ends up being a three for one, but now the buyback's onto Siamese Cat. Ame has to try to reset. He's gonna get to the double spear with the shard. Triple kill on Ori. Nothing to say is dead. Will he get the Sunder? No. Ultra kill Ori and into the Roche pit, which doesn't have anybody in it. Secret where Entity were kind of just happy to let objectives fall, like where Shan fall, just, just hit their timing, that was all that mattered to them. Oh god. Boom though, jumping in, Boxy on the high ground, he's got the BKB, so gonna immediately just try to take down Scam. Scam does get off the tombstone, but Boxy takes care of it with ease and FBZ, then left behind, the whole team just absolutely bailing on this plan. Yo Pash gonna try and throw in the tree volley, but that's not gonna work, and now Boxy in onto Jackie, they've got the roar out from Zai as well, isolating Jackie on the back line here, Liquid surround the fact of the Tassin, she's Gone as well as says just too much damage coming out from the side. Everybody of going Liquid. through the feet. easy game for these black holes to come out is an important oh. factor. All that thought of mid lane, we might see one soon. Viewer is in danger. Nice oh, toss back sick. from Kataomi. Saves the day, but will drop himself. Very nice sacrifice. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Zayid, he just has nothing on his shoulders. He has no. He doesn't have to do anything. He just has to exist, and it's enough. It's scary. The hero's scary just existing. He always feels like, oh, guys, we're going to get black hold. We're going to get black hold. Careful, careful. And you always are talking about it. It's always the threat. I don't think he has to click it. Yeah. He can just wait for this pure to walk forward, go to the back lane, go a little too far. Black hole one hero, and it's going to be enough for them. Yeah, and just going back to that pickoff, without the tiny, that threat, the toss back is gone. So high ground completely opens up, even though you have some setup with the song here. I chase a little bit, but it doesn't seem like he can keep up. In fact, hold that forward. Kataomi with a nice toss back has found Matamba Man. This could be the big one. Oh. There's your black hole out from the low ground Zai. It will get cancelled though by the Song of the Siren. They have at least got Fishman down. Liquid, can they keep going? It seems like they're going to try. Toby, he's the target. He'll get forced up the way, but it may not be enough. They'll just close the gap. Oh, it's a Kataomi. They want more. Toss in Matamba, but that's going to help Liquid. Matamba's happy to fight. They've even found the Oh my god. An ultra kill out for Mickey. And GG is called Liquid. Out. He bought out for AC. He is short buyback. No 400. Oh, oh, there's the hook. The ball. first snap. They're trying to deal with this ward. And no it ends buy. up getting a freebie. Now it's a four versus five. Four versus six with the Aegis. Mickey. Rolling Thunder, here he comes. Mickey leading off the charge. Gotta make it count. Zai getting past. Matthew on in. He got with the BKB immediately. The bash going in. And now the Walrus punch as well. But the BKB is running out. Now he's got the black he hole in. But he got a bash again. Oh, that's going to be a die back. And Pagaz is in so deep. But Top Man needs it out. His Ranger is running thin. Twain fast inside of Zai. But now Zai's in trouble. He's being focused down. Zai, but Top Man popped right back out. They have the refresher. And they net. It's going to be enough to be able to finish off a Top Man. But he doesn't have the buyback. Boxy, he's going in. Zai. Nobody else, it's just Dark it's Mongo, on two. it's just because a two the on two, two cores, a blink away, the Rolling Thunder doesn't land, can they escape, does Liquid want to pursue, do they have to, Insani now joining in with the Dark Mongo's gonna try and deal with him, where he can, the Freezing Field going out with the Suns, the it's bashes. actually doing so much damage with Top of with the Bashes, Mickey as well, one fall, the other to follow, no buybacks, Team Liquid, they hold again. If they don't go soon, though, it's going to be the Leshrac joining them as well, a three on five. This is a hard fight. You have to pick your jump well. You have to hit Corp with a ball. Saker goes for it. Immediately, the Black Hole, they're just going to focus all in onto Mickey. And it looks like maybe they got him down to the nice. All over the side. Swatch will go over the Rolling Thunder up through them. Mickey surviving through it. And now the Marcy dies. And now they get the stun on the Sacred. Now he's dead as well. 12 seconds. How much can you get? A 12 seconds liquid. Can you claim 
Top four in five. It's not going to happen. The throat's not tied fast enough. Dark Hog was on oh, two. just killed him. Punch him in one. Jump back in. Now the buybacks. Now the comeback. Oh, no. The life. throw died fast. 1,000 health. Trying to finish up. T. Yeah, not the ideal target, but he's the only one presenting himself. Okay, let's be dead. Get cleaned up pretty quickly here. Rock Rocket with the opening, the follow-up, the global silence being used immediately. And this will buy a little bit more time. Let's all jumping out to the back line, seeing the opening over onto the hawk. Can they get this kill? Can they take him down? Yes, they can! They'll end up putting out the damage. They'll end up losing Les Lau. Notice, though, with that ultimate coming out from Quinn. It's forced back with the fear. Les Lau trying to fight again. Does have the nullifier. Nice stun impale going through. They need to put out more damage. Les Lau sitting so very low. Nice swap, though, coming out with Bala. Going to be able to buy him just a little bit more time. Are they going to be able to keep him alive? They toss him back. Looks like he's still alive for just a little bit longer. But now he's going to pull. You are now buying back after dying. They got one kill over onto Notice. He's trying to do everything over to the back lines. Quinn fighting here with that boom, but eventually they get the kill. You are, he's trying, he drops the who comes the buy back. MSS tossing everybody around and this will end up getting up. They have the nullifier over onto your war low. He's pretty deep though. Can they finish him off? Can they get this kill on Zeus? Yes, they will, but Faza again. He needs to put down your war. He's silenced. He can't get over there. The only gets there, the throne is dying, though. It is the best of the ancients, and they have not managed the tiny. Look back. Ooh, Ooh, they get the jump. Trying to blow up the Nyx assassin. And just going to be able to protect it to the moment. Fall K1. Just assassinates a whisper. Finds the RP. The black hole now on to three. The best one you would ever hope for to close out this game. As now C Smile would end it with an old choice. Beast Coast. One last fight. But either way, the swift troll warlord, and I think they kind of need to put everything into this troll warlord because otherwise he uh, will not be able to come out on top. Oh, he, come on, he reads where they're at, but he gets himself ruptured for his trouble. BZM now coming in, bouncing through multiple heroes with the Rolling Thunder. Lawless already lost the Aegis. BZM in the meantime trying to bring down Lotus. Global Silence will eventually emerge, but it's too late. Frostbite kills the Lotus Bloodseeker. Lawless on the second life gets off the BKB with the Bloodstone. But Hiragi, his BKB is already expected. Berserk mode from Dahak is beating down the troll. Even with the Fortune's end and the Force Promise, he might still die. But at the same time, they do kill off the Troll Warlord. And Yuragi stays standing. Between Lol and Dark, they just didn't have enough damage, Luke. And now they're gonna try and just clean up on the heroes trying to escape. Roger, able to all float away. Notice this fled with the tail tucked between his legs after buying back. And OG, it looked for a second like it might be rough, but they just Radiance don't have the damage to deal with this Oracle. Unlike what happened inside the base where Tiger got isolated by Laurel, this time around Tiger was able to comfortably set on the back of the fight, costing spells like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, they didn't even rampage, that's the sad part. They didn't even use it for the troll, now he uses the rampage, but that's about it. Maybe they can hold on. Archer? Oh, Pobble has cancelled immediately by him off the Primal Beast. The Hawk's life is cancelled as well as he gets sent back to the fountain. And GG is... Who's their first point of contact going to be, though? Every buyback matters right now as they glimpse across the Naga. Nice Manta and Arbed. He's into the back lines. Tim's gets off his BKB, but FBZ has no black hole. Arbed looking to run away as the Son of the Siren was attempting to kite the BKBs, but they're losing Nightfall's Viper. Jackie and Scam, they're in on top of him, but he TP's home. The last remnants of the song allowing the escape. Arteezy on the run, trying to flicker away, but glimpsed and held in place. He's trouble. Arteezy is stuck here outside the Roche Pit, and Jackie is making sure work of him, but the Satanic, they're healing. Arteezy saved up by Albert now. Black hole from FPZ, though. Catching out the Naga and the Primal Beast, sucking them back into the damage of Jackie. Freezing Peel from Fly, has thrown away your flash, but Jackie's on the Nightfall now, shredding through the Viper as Fly tries to hold his ground, but EG loses three big cores. Only two supports remain. Jackie, Roshan belongs to them. Holy shit. It is this game too. They're going to make an attempt on Pure. So let's see the TP. Although the fish is going to come out too fast before the reactions. Q in with the echo as well, but Pure is okay. They to Kataomi. And he's going to protect a fellow brother as well as Entity. Get out of danger. And they're TPing in. Look at the outburst. Fishman. He's going to get brought down. At least gets the ice box off before he dies. But they're on 
to Savage before the BKB. The chain control is going to be perfect. They hold the Storm Hammer into the last second. And now Pure can look to go for some more members as well as Talon just need to get up. And Makoto's in trouble. There's going to be no escaping here for the last shack. He's just going to hope he can take some of the entity members into the grave along with him. And the Fusion to help out for the moment. The Bloods are active as well, but it's just not enough damage. Without other people nearby on Talon, they might even get Q as well. Luna lane, Q. Is it going to go? Oh, no way! Oh, my God! Q, oh, what are you doing to them? Oh, this man's punch is so nutty. Mind you, last time he did have a double damage room, to be fair. It's still a very painful process for this tier 3 tower, however. Oh, my God. Just standing from a mile away, and there's just nothing you can do. These towers just melt with that song, but it's a great. Once you break that invis, the damage is ridiculous. Jump in, Fermi's gonna try, but there's a side device out from Raven. Locking down the storms till they do find at least the Aegis. Fermi can go for a reset. Not a bad start whatsoever here for GG. Duraccio, he'll keep moving forward, trying to find the sniper, but needs to back his way out. Can't deal with the damage output of Armel at the moment. They did have the refraction charges to play with those, so it didn't really take any damage. Oh, here now. Um, gonna move in again, but a quick BKB on Armel this time, ready for it, but instead they found Raven on the TA. He goes down, the Celery, he drops his rock. They do have the buyback, and now Ace in the backside with a pulverize into the Vortex. Burb just setting up perfectly. Oh, what a Vortex out from Boom. Yeah, he, he makes it work. He finds the angle back in, he knows that... And they're on the Radiant. Of course, the Telescope, lower cooldown. Gonna throw Nisha up here first. He's barely taking it. The smoke, the ward drop instantly. Amar's gonna drive up to the high ground as well as Yuragi. Just assassinates one of the members, but they're completely split. They've been able to deal with Amar. First use of the Global Science. They've got a second one ready to go. Another man as well. Another dismember into the middle. On to BZM. Mickey just posturing on the high ground with the right clicks. Raining down. He's gonna look to buy back on BZM and get back in the middle to find his eye. Black hole. Where's the counter? They're not gonna have it. And BKB will hold the back. Oh, just a little late. Whoa. They've got the damage. Mickey starting to pummel into the TA. Back into the lane. They're gonna be a dieback. Combo man. A dieback onto the bat rider. And Liquid are doing it. Three down. No buybacks. And they can walk it down. They got a DD. That's game. Oh, my. Play first, uh -oh. mother. Yeah. Oh, they certainly did. Revolution is owning on it right now. Nisha. 
And, uh, he's stunned up. These Maldings are annoying. Malthus, uh, Macropire coming down as well. They're trying to cook him up and Zyatz once again saves him with the Dispo. Just gets him out of there. BKB popped as well. He has committed though onto the Giant Cop to Chris. He's got one AB. He wants to bring down the range racks here. Stormstormer as well with him. And they will be able to get both. And now, Bo comes flying on through, giving them the extra health they need to just stay and fight. Chrysalis is going absolutely nowhere on the side of Secret. He's taking up residence in the entity base right now. Even if they gone to the moon well there, they will now chill out a little bit as uh, Puppy finds himself ultimately left behind. Uh, Zyatz left. He's actually going to come in. It's a bit. Oh, he gets two of them. No way. Fishman and Toby get absolutely wrecked. Oh, man. Puppy. I mean, they, they do kill him, but uh, pretty costly. That said, Zyatz has fallen. Yeah, is there anything he can do? Any counter plays for another BKB now. Chrysalis, they're just going to kill him off. It's an ultra kill now for Chrysalis. Another hero thinking it's EP, but now thinking about it twice. Right, I know you're playing against Glimpse, but you need some sort of way of getting out of Starbreaker. And getting out of oh, all. And, okay, oh. and they're going to jump in. Solo Guardian coming in at the end. And it looks like BPL might drop inside the Wukong's command. And everything to just right, try to reset. Zyatz is going to limp back to the Eon Disc and just burrow his way back to full HP. Jin Q is dead as well without buyback available. Now they just wait out the Wukongs. Oh, he's going to go in again with Chrysalis' his Starbreaker, decimating time and time again. But there's Ame's Rip Pressure. The Wukong's command to follow. Chrysalis eats the cheese, tries to get forced that, but not going to live through this engagement. They did find Niche, okay. Gets off the Yule, but instantly canceled. That was a neutral item. <laughs> It's actually doing work. So they got the tower, but nothing more. Oh, they got Nisha. a Zeus buyback too. All right, he has Wind Waker, like you said. That was the Stormcraft, so he has two ways to dispel. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I thought that was like a nullifier or something, just canceling it out, but just the baby Yules. Secret continuing to pursue. Notification is popped, and Split Earth's a plenty being applied. And now they know that there's no Wukong's command. Refresher already used on Ame. Fine. So will take the defensive route here to ensure that he can at least stay alive for a moment. Faith beyond! Uh-oh. Inside the Static Storm. Remember, he can't use any items inside of it, and he's dead! 90 seconds of no death profit! Ame trying to get some revenge, but Resolution ends up using Rebound on the other side. Only one inside Wukong's command right now, but three dead for PSG LGD. And now Ame looks to be next. The Starbreaker is coming just for him. Specialty from Secret. He has to buy back instantly. Now Resolution with the Dispose, onto nothing to say. Has to pop the BKB himself, but this looks like it might be the beginning of the end for LGD in this upper bracket. Rebound, nice block there, but again, Chrysalis with the Starbreaker. And this is going to be several sets of racks, if not potentially GG. <laughs> no, there, there are no ideals anymore. Okay, there they go. But there they go. we don't want to do them. No, not on the first slide. Absolutely not. And, well, but can they even kill him the first time becomes the question with the haste and he's on and away and he's gonna be able to turn and fight in fact Rezo he's being dismembered Chrysalis trying to fight through this one they do drop the doom here onto Picasso they get through the Lincoln Sphere Chrysalis now on the Rickham and they can catch just four heroes all five even the fight's been split Nisha's starting to tear him apart Zyatz as well the two-man echo but they're gonna lose Chrysalis Nisha is all out of remnants here and that was only the first light for Dark Mago he should do what he can from the side but it's just Ooh. not enough and they cancel his TP with the bolts Picasso now has Blink has Hard has yeah. dismember, and it's still a full wipe for as well as that fight looks for on Tusk, and they've got BKB on Enigma, so uncounterable black hole here. Really, there goes the coil. A no BKB Ember Spirit susceptible to so much here. If they can stay on top of him, burns him down before he gets the jump away. He jumps back at the line, he jumps out. But there's a black hole from Insania. A three man pick up the Ravage counter goes out, but then Rage was already down from a tub of man. He shrugs that one up pretty easily. Thunder. Now pops the BKB. Thunder, they need to be able to break open this fight now. Bull in the bite like this it is a must win they need to be able to get a pickoff or two it's going to be the glimpse on his side keeping him inside insania comes back they have to get this rune mother kill matthew actually picks up the kill onto insania at the same time boxy gets run down as well they try to bail out Zai, but actually feed some extra kills oh. over to thunder and a slight change that is barely off the mark a little unlucky there didn't get the puck maybe still getting the tumba man though he's bonus in rage and his bkb they, they spot glimpse. him get the glimpse pull him back in because it's ready to go to clean up Huge the kill on kill. the carry absolutely huge kill they get the street gold almost a thousand to pakaz he is so far ahead now and of course rose spawning during this interval